Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Atiya Allah, Atiya Rasul Ulul Amri Minkum. And always a reminder for myself and Abdul Sudai from his deeds of Ulul Jahad. And but for the grace of Allah they were still in existence. Alhamdulillah. Hayya al Hayyu ya Qayyum. Allahu al 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 Hayya al Hayyu ya Qayyum. Allahu al-Hayyan Hayyu Qayyum. Alhamdulillah, Allah dress us and bless us from these holy nights and this immense way of love and muhabbat and that this love and this path of love has many hidden treasures and realities. Means that the Salik and the seeker, the reason that Allah put within them a reality to seek. And while people are looking for everything upon the surface and the surface is only what the ocean has thrown out of it. And the seeker's reality is one whom dives within the ocean of reality. And as a result Mawlana Shaykh would always say, pearls and corals. Because you don't find the pearls and you don't find the corals and the jewels of the ocean cast upon the shore. So the ocean throws out on the shore what it was not in need of and that which is is cherished and valuable the ocean actually conceals it and the ocean of reality conceals it. And that reality hidden within these oceans is the ocean of love and Divine love. And that to, to love Allah what we talked about last night and many nights we've talked this is the core of the teachings is that when you truly love Allah and the love is sincere and it has good character because everyone's claiming to love Allah From every walk of life everyone has an inherent love for the Divine the Presence. And when that love is sincere and sincerity is achieved through good deeds, good character. As a result of the good character and their sincere love, that ocean that you dive into reveals its treasure. So the rest of the world, what we call common people, not that it's lower, higher but I'm saying is as far as the, the surface people live their life on a surface and they basically say, oh this is a, a beautiful ocean. And the Salik and the seeker is one whom is saying that, Ya Rabbi, oh my Lord I want more, I want more, I want more with their sincerity, with their love, with their good character. Allah inspires them then, don't sit on the, don't sit on the shore, don't stand on the shore but dive, come into my ocean. And that's the difference when somebody's saying, well we all love God, we all love Allah but when Allah grant the servant a, an acceptance of their good character and their good deeds, He inspires them, come in, come into that ocean. And as soon as they begin to move into that ocean of muhabbat and Divinely love and Divinely grace, that's where Allah begins to reveal, the treasure of my ocean is the prophetic reality. And as soon as you begin to dive deep into that, all you find of Allah's treasures and pearls and corals are the Muhammadan reality, the reality of all the Prophets. That's why in the Lataif of the Qalb that the reality of the Prophet Adam salam, that Allah comes and inspires that Adam salam represents the, the vehicle of knowledge and grace that I would dress all of creation from that reality. And that Sayyidina Nu and Noah represents the immense love of faith and struggling. So it means within that ocean of God Almighty is these treasures, these treasures are the prophetic realities. And this Muhammadan love, the, the love of Sayyidina Adam salam, Sayyidina Nu salam, Sayyidina Ibrahim, Sayyidina Musa salam, Sayyidina Isa salam, Sayyidina Muhammad salam, that that's the treasure that's revealed and that's the treasure of Allah are these realities. And the same because it's continuously, what would be the word, mimicking the same path 
is that as soon as you have that love for Prophet then again it's like another ocean, you're diving into the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah where Prophet is inspiring, don't just stand on the shore of my love, enter into my love, come towards my love. Then these awrads and these praisings and now we're only now they're allowing us to understand that when this love is granted, the Divine is saying, come and love my prophetic reality because I'm hidden within them, I'm not on heaven and I'm not on earth. If you come to their love, who you find? You find me, you find my Divinely Presence. Then we found that how powerful the manifestation and the power of manifestation that we're doing the awrads, we're doing the etiquettes, the praisings, the salawats, all these words for praisings and all of these letters and, and words that we're putting together, how they're bringing about a change within ourselves, lights, lights that are not from us. That when we praise upon that reality, the power that God has given to us to manifest the holiness of the tongue, the power of the heart, as soon as you begin to praise these lights come into manifestation and those manifestations begin to dress us and bless us and draw us near into their presence and dear into their presence. And as we're drawing closer to the prophetic reality, to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad then in the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah what do we find? Means the treasures within the reality and the heart of Prophet is then the love of what he loved, the love of the Divine Presence most superior, but the love of his holy companions and his holy family. And that's what that reality of min huwa min whom that I, he's from me and I am from him. Because as you draw into this love and into this ocean of love and muhabbat, through all these manifestations and all these powers that Allah has given to us to praise, to continuously take our beads and praise and praise and praise so that we can manifest these lights, manifest these powers, manifest these protections. Then what we find in that ocean is that, this is my family in this ocean and then you dive into their love and to their ish and by just recognizing them on these holy nights recognizing their birth, their passing, their life, their example, it opens immense treasures within the heart of that ocean. That how much Prophet is happy when you love whom he loves, when you're diving within the ocean of good character, good manners and love and you open these box and these treasures, how much these treasures they bless the soul of the seeker. And how much they granted light and how much they granted nearness and proximity. Means we pray for these, these lights and these nights that Allah gave us an immense opportunity that three of these immense Ahlul Bayt and household members of the house of Sayyidina Muhammad it's an immense dress to prepare us for Laylatul Nisf al-Shabban, the night of forgiveness. A night in which the believer spends that night and asking God's forgiveness, asking Allah for their prayers, prayers for their family, for their rizq, their sustenance, prayer for their faith that not to have their faith impeded upon or, or crushed by people and by circumstances and by life events. Means so much now is needed for these days of difficulty that our sustenance not to be cut, not to be in the hands of other people that Allah grant us an ease in which that sustenance to reach to us, that the faith of our family, our children and our communities to be strong, to grow and not to be diminished and chipped away by the difficulties of the surrounding life that people are experiencing. So now more than ever we're praying that these holy nights Allah dress us from the blessings of these holy nights and our observance of these holy nights and prepare us for Laylatul Nisf al-Shabban to be dressed by its blessings and not by the intention of ourselves but the intention of Sayyidina Muhammad by the intention of his Ahlul Bayt, his holy family, they know what we don't know. By the intention of his holy companions for they know and what we don't know. 
and by the intention of awliyaullah from the heavens and from earth for they know and what we don't know that their intention count for us, their prayers to be dressed upon us and to prepare us for these blessings and these lights that Allah to complete His favours upon our souls inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon, assalamun al mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.